Howdy y'all, got the Bulldog on the channel. Quick video here, hopefully I'll get this in before another semi goes by going blah, but we'll try. We've got a Chrysler Town & Country here doing AC on it. The rear air has been leaking. We had dye all over the lines that are underneath in this hole right here. Fairly accessible from underneath. They stick right out in the middle of, uh, middle of the open. I mean, right in front of God and everybody. The reason these things give trouble is because they stick down right out in the open, right in front of God and everybody. And they catch all the road salt from this right rear wheel. Smart, isn't it? And while I've told you before, aluminum does not rust. It corrodes. Look at this. I mean, the whole hole was full. Whole hole, yes. I'm, I'm good at my English. But the whole thing was full of corrosion, this powder. Once you get it to break loose and start to wiggle, it just turns to a crap powder and crumbles up, falls out, and it comes right apart. Until then, it's hard as a brick. And what I've seen on these things, uh, getting this off of the evaporator core is nearly impossible we're to the point now that we buy we, they've made available the plate that goes on the top side which doesn't come with the evaporator core anymore it's just bare lines they're not hooked together they have a hook that hooks into one side and then clips into another well that plate's available now Hopefully I have new bolts. That's something that I hadn't been able to get previously. Before they made this plate available, I had to reuse it. And what I had to do is take a, a saw and cut down the side because these bolts would not come out. No way, no how. Other than that, the job is really easy. You split this case in half. You, know, you undo all the deals and the thing comes out. I do not drain the antifreeze because there's where the heater core goes for the rear. You take this little strap loose, pull these clips, and the heater core just slides out. And there it is. You know, it just sits inside like that. You just slide that out and leave it there. No muss, no fuss. So, I'm gonna go ahead and whip this thing in there, get it pumping down, hopefully I get it done tonight. Kind of a big deal to But, you know, it's just screws. I'll get this, hopefully I've got all the parts, get it put back in. Before I go back together, I'm gonna to clean up that plate down below. I've seen them corrode to the point that they're leaking too. Didn't look like it was before, it had dye all over around up here. You can kind of see this stuff that's a little bit off colored. Well, that's where the corrosion mixed with UV dye. It glows when you put a black light on it. Just my take on it. It's not a late model town and country. It's a later model. It's in the late 2000s, early, early teens. I don't know, somewhere around there. I don't pay too much mind to the, the years of these vehicles sometimes. They all run together since we work on everything. But just want to let you know that if you're going to do one of these, allow yourself a little bit extra time to get that thing apart without breaking stuff. You, they do have a line that comes off the bottom of it, turns around and goes to about here. That's replaceable. Last time I tried to source that, couldn't get it. So I try to make sure that we're not damaging something. Uh, what I did on this one, this hole is pretty big down there in that plate. So I took my straight pick and just kept going around it scratching on that corrosion and of course it powders and I ground my way three quarters of the way up and then I had a wrench that would fit on it just perfectly while my boss wiggled on the top I wiggled jiggle jiggle and then I put a crowbar up in there and I was able to hook the top plate and pry against the body and I put some down pressure on it while wiggling while wiggling and 
you know, held my teeth just right and it, it started moving and then I started seeing all that powder start to fall out of the hole. I was, okay, powder's falling, now it's moving. So just keep going. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Patience. Pops out. So I'm gonna clean all that stuff up so it goes back together nice and flat and we don't have a deal where it's got a lump of corrosion and it doesn't tighten up all the way because it's in the way, which has happened before. So we'll get this taken care of. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.